Hello all of you. Today we are going to discuss how to use Ajax in your Drupal website. So we need to use Ajax call. So without the refreshing, we have to add data or we have to do functionality. So here we are going to check out how to do that. Here we have an example to view more data. So when you click on view more, it should show one by one without refreshing the page so here you can see that view more button so one by one it is displaying so this is actually our blog custom content i already created a custom content called blog so we have a, the blog title there so this much data is there so this is coming based on view more but view more event so how we can do this so for that we are going to create a module let's check out how we done that here in module folder i have created a module called ajax data so this module name is ajax data so the module name only you have to create inside that inside that we have a two files info file and routing file so let's check out info file as like theme you know same like theme there should be an info file about the module so it will specify the module name description and the version and type this is type is module it will specify this is routing so we are path through, we are controlling based on the function so these two files you have to save this ajax data because our model name is ajax data dot info dot yml and routing dot yml so these two files are created then we have to create a control file so first you have to create src controller and there is a control file so this is the control file here we wrote a class that extend control base and a function this is the main function here so we are going to call this function automatically it will call another function inside the theme so we we'll see how it is going to work out this full font only three files are there inside the module so you have already created modules so after creating this module you have to go to the extend this is Drupal 8 so in if you go extend if you search that name whatever you're given here up and data with the page load so you can see module here i already installed this module otherwise you can click and install check and install so it will automatically install so we can call this function from our ajax so it will going to work out how we can do that we will do with the help of script inside our theme customs this theme we are using inside we having script.js so here I wrote a function load blog data it is calling that load ajax data so how will it is possible we will check it out there So this is our front page template here is div with id blog display article so this is view more blog load so this is the button we having button there so this button is that view more button so when on click on on click it will call load blog data so we wrote that inside the script 
you go here we'll check it out once we are giving alert portal is a little bit slow so this loader so when you click on view more it will call that total value then we'll get that test blog one how it is possible so when you click on it you saw that this it will call here we have on click function load blog data this is javascript function load blog data after clicking on this it will give a post ajax request with the load ajax data so this load ajax data is the function inside the controller so automatically it will call the controller then we will get the parameter using this action and count here we are specifying the action is view more block count is the total number of clicks so it will get that data inside this function this function automatically called after dollar post submit then we will get the count and action next is inside module we have to write one function load ajax data dot php here only the main function we are going this is just connecting inside our custom Theme, we having load ajax data function this function will take view more block so inside script we are passing action view more block so it will call automatically view more block with the limit count here we are going to write our query ajax query to get node so whatever the node we are added there it will automatically get it from the admin side or uh, super from the database and it will display one by one so here given limit count so one data at a time it will take zero to one it will take first when one to one two to one like that one by one it will display so here we are going to change to we'll see what will happen see two at a time is coming right instead of one two is coming so this is just a query we are displaying this value automatically this value will get inside the script with data so when you're calling this function it will call ajax load ajax data then it will call again the method view more block then we'll get the data the data will be appended there so this is this much file we use it for using ajax so this is a simple way without loading a page you can create your own themes in Drupal 8 so this may mainly used for view more or otherwise some other script compare or something like that you need to do without refreshing the page so that time you can use this so here these are the files so one more I'll tell you first you created a module inside that we we'll specify the info and routing src inside the control 3 there are three files for modules then inside the theme we'll create a function this only getting the data and displaying the then script and front pages same like Drupal we know right so hope you will understand this is the easiest way to load data without the refreshing the page so hope you understood this i'll add this code inside the description so that you can download this code and you can modify your own way so you can use for anything you like view more data load more or script or in other slider or something dynamic uh, it should come without refreshing any case you can use this so it's just it is just connecting the 
and server and getting the data without refreshing the page so we can use it in drawbar 8 thank you for listening i am attaching this files in the description you can download it from there thank you